Hey y'all, welcome to third grade, chapter seven, lesson five. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, so it wants us to make an array to find the quotient here. So I'm gonna make rows of four until I get to 20. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So now I have my four, how many is across? Well, that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing right here. Okay, rows of four until I get to 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, how many across? Three. Okay, so you guys go ahead and do number four. Okay, all right. So 24 divided by three. So I'm gonna go ahead and I know that three times eight is 24, okay? It's just the opposite of a multiplication problem, okay? So three times eight is 24, okay? Two times what is eight? Well, two times four is eight, okay? Same thing for seven and eight, okay? Number nine, nine goes into 36 how many times? So, sorry, four times what goes into 36, okay? So, four times nine is 36. Okay, we have zero left over, all right. How many times is four going to eight? Well, four times two is eight, okay? You guys do 11 and 12, okay? This one, it's just throwing a letter in there to try to confuse you guys. It's nothing more than what you've already been doing, okay? 20 divided by five is how much, okay? So five times what is 20? Well, five times four is 20, okay? 32 divided by four equals P. It's just, it's the same as leaving it blank, just like up here, guys, okay? So four times what is 32? Four times eight is 32, okay? You guys go ahead and do 15 and 16. We're gonna go down and do 17. Ms. Higgins has 28 students in her gym class. She puts them into four equal groups. So 28 divided by four, okay? So four times what is 28? Well, four times seven is 28, so seven students. Okay, Andy has 36 CDs. He buys a case that holds four CDs in each section. How many sections can he fill? Well, four times what is 36? Well, just like up here, four times nine is 36. So it's going to be nine sections. Okay, all right, let's go on to the back where you guys are gonna do the lesson check, just like always. And we're going to do this power review. Okay. We're going to find the product. Well, 3 times 7 is 21. Describe the pattern below. So I can't multiply evenly and get from 8 to 12, but I can add. And since it's increasing, it's going up, it's either going to be adding or multiplication. Okay. So what do I have to add to 8 to get to 12? Well, I have to add 4. So if I add 4 to 12, do I get 16? Yes, I do. Add four again, 20, exactly. So it's going to be add four, okay? All right, complete the number sentence to show an example of the commutative property of multiplication, okay? So when you commute, you are moving. So you have the same numbers, we're just gonna have them in a different order. Done, okay? I still have four. I still have five and I have the answer. It's the commutative property, guys. It just means that they moved places, okay? Jasmine has 18 model horses. She places the model horses equally on three shelves. How many model horses are on each shelf? Well, what times three is 18? Well, three times six is 18. So six model horses. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 7.5. Come on back for 7.6. See you soon.